because it's really nice wood and it smells real good. I like the cat fur. Old dog fur. <laughs> it's really kind of neat and it makes lots of heat. Yeah, we need, yeah, we need some background music, Charlie. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some background music, Charlie. Come on, let me have it. Let me have it. This is the midweek ripper. <laughs> this is the midweek ripper. Come on. Hey, we're hauling it in the Ford because we're not making boards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going to have a rocket tune there before long. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Tasmaniac Saw Shack. <laughs> Late night with Tasman. <laughs> Coming at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome everyone. And thank you everyone for your uh, for your patience and 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 for sticking around, you know, as we go through changes and stuff like that. And, if you if you're watching this one and you didn't see the other short video that I put up about the about comments and stuff like that getting kind of stirred around with uh, with the YouTube update or or whatever happened there I'm not sure it it's affecting different channels in different ways but anyway thanks everybody for hanging out. And uh, like I said in that short, if I haven't gotten to your comment, it's not, it's not because it's not because I don't like you. And it's not because I, I, I didn't do it on purpose. You, you know what I mean. Anyway, so I was, I'm just out here in the saw shack tonight and thinking about, you know, different filings and, and different stuff going on on the channel. And just want to talk a little bit about filing and and, and, a, and a couple other things also. The the filing experiment, the the chain condition is 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 not optimal for all of them. But I just thought, well, I got this chain and I'm doing this. Why not just try it and see what it does? The raker height plays a big part in the different in the different filings as far as the chip dump goes and as far as the little the baby C goes and as far as square filing the baby C the baby C was was fairly smooth even with the lower raker as opposed to the square file was a little bit chattery. So the to me that that tells me that the raker height was too low for the aggressiveness and the sharpness of a square file. Not that my square my square file is far from it's far from awesome. <laughs> I'll just say that. It's it's not. It's not awesome. But I am gonna get. I am gonna work on it, and I am gonna get it to where it to where it cuts on a few of the saws that I use for falling. I don't, you know, I'm cutting firewood and and that, but I get I get the occasional small tree job where I need to go fall trees, and the square file is. Uh, is better for cleaning up the undercut, and it's fast. It's it, it's it's fast <laughs> when done when done correctly, and I'm working on that. So more of that to come. And also, I want to see. I'm going to try the baby C in an undercut to see how it works because the the baby C for some I think the baby C might be might be easier than square file and like I said in the video the other reason I'm trying this is because with files is because files are cheaper than an eighteen hundred or two thousand or twenty five hundred dollar Symington square grinder 
not everyone has a square grinder out there, right? But most of us it, it, can get a hold of a file. And if you can't, if you can't get the double bevels files to, to square file, I want to, the, the eighth inch file is super popular. It, it's, it's, it's out there because the eighth inch file is what's filing a lot of those electric little one hand things, you know, the, the, like the Milwaukee and the, uh, Still, still makes one. <coughs> Nick Pixel had a video quite a while ago about when he got that one, and I believe it was a Milwaukee. But anyway, that's what that's what's filing those chains is the eighth inch. So I want I, I'd like to see if if it's feasible for us folks that that can't afford a square grinder if if that if it's similar. Because it is a smaller tooth and 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 acts kind of along the same lines as square file, if that makes sense. That's that's why I'm that's why I'm doing this experiment is because I don't have a grinder, a square grinder, <laughs> and I don't really want a round grind a, a round grinder. I I, I, I don't want that. Because I can do that with this 730 seconds file. Or this for the baby C. And the baby C to me is easier than square file. Square file, you gotta have to have three angles on every stroke. The same consistency. That's my that's my downfall with my with my square filing is consistency 45 here 45 45 this way 45 tilted the the file it 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 can be difficult for me at times but this once you get it started in the tooth is pretty much it's pretty much like 730 seconds you're just using a smaller file and of course, another thing that makes it a little bit more difficult is this file is so flexible. You have to be pretty gentle, really, to get it to work right. So you're not bending it around and continually filing off the working corner. But anyway, a thought that I had about getting the baby C started because there have been some people, some folks said it was difficult to get it started without digging a big ditch on a regular chain. Okay. So follow me on this. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to change the camera angle and get down here on a tooth and kind of show you what I'm, what I'm, where I'm headed with this. baby C. Eighth inch file. And I started this on a brand new chain. This is just some links that I had extra laying around. But see that? That's factory. This is still chain. That's factory. Right? That's baby C. factory see how straight that edge is gentle with the file will get you that now let's look at the other side I'll flip it around that's the other side of the tooth let's see where it is it's above this line That's and like I said, that's brand new chain. That's a brand new that's brand new link. With the factory factory grind on it. Just a few swipes is all you need. No need to dig a big old ditch. 
to stay right up against that top plate. Okay, so here's my idea. If you end up with a chain, if you get, you know, chains that people throw away or want to get rid of and they have a huge hook in them, if they've got a really huge hook already filed in it and whatever, and you want to just like, oh, well, I'll just try this baby C on one of those chains. To get it started, my idea is take a flat file, just a regular flat file, take a flat file, and stay at the angle that they give you as kind of a reference point. Stay at that angle. Hold the file flat like this against the tooth, against the top plate. And file it flat like that. File it flat, then Get your eighth inch file for the baby C, and then you have a flat surface to start on, right? It's already an old chain, and it's probably got some damage to it. But as you can see, that file is pretty flexible. So you gotta be gentle. You can't just go hogging it out. And you really don't need to anyway. And you don't need you don't need a whole lot. You don't need a whole lot of a ditch. What do you say about that? Let's look at that. Baby C. See this line? See this line right here? See how it's straight? This chain came square ground. That's why that line is straight. It's not curved. But see the baby C? That's after filing the top plate flat. Fairly flat. This is what it started out with. This is just an experiment. To me, that's not too much hook. But like I said, if you have an old chain that's got a real deep gullet in it and it's already messed up, it's already dull, and you want to try this, that's another way to get it started. Baby C. But look at that. Square. Hand file. <laughs> it's coming along. It's coming along. <laughs> oh man, that excites me right there. Let's look at the other side. Baby C. Sorry about the wobbliness. Square. Lighting isn't all that great either. Square. Scary square. <laughs> hey. <laughs>
Now, you know, the the experiments, you know, like on the 350 and stuff like that, on that well over halfway worn out chain, you know, I'm not, I, I, I don't know as though I'd do it to a brand new chain. I might square file a brand new chain. But it, like I said, if you get a, a used chain from somebody or, or, or if you have an old chain that you used that you know has a way deep hook in it big you know deep deep big crazy hook flat file flat surface see it to baby c just take to get it started if you want to try it like i said just get a flat file and file it flat fairly flat you know to where you can get that in there to where you because starting in a big hook in a big overhanging hook right this little file is gonna you know you're just gonna keep going and then you're gonna have a big anvil looking thing so if you file it flat fairly flat then you can start this right underneath the top plate and then just gently file just like you do with the big file. Anyway, enough on that. I hope it makes sense. And like I said, there'll be more to come. That square filing. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's gonna come along for sure. So enough rambling for me tonight. I hope everybody has a great week. A great day and going into the weekend I hope I hope everybody has a rocking weekend uh, we'll be I'll be going live Saturday morning after I get off work night shift I get home about seven and we'll start the live about seven and probably go for an hour an hour and a half okay so hope to see you all there love you all take care be safe Tasman is rolling.